This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. You got the new album, Isla, coming out. What does that mean? Yeah. We're going to have to ask him. La Isla Boni Island. The island? Oh, uh, yeah. Island. One man island. Mm. That's kind of telling. Just watched this uh, video not too long ago. La Familia. La Familia. La Familia. Yeah, La Familia. This guy is probably one of the most interesting, polarizing rappers, artists in the game right now. Mm-hmm. Very intelligent man. Yeah. Very uh, 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 autonomous young man he is. Mm-hmm. Hi. I, I dare say he's a philosopher, Heather B. Philosopher? A philosopher. Are you a philosopher? Yes. No, ma'am. I, 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 in my, in my opinion, I, I call him a philosopher. He's a thinking man. A thinking a man. A thinking man. Yeah, that's good. Expressing Sometimes. Man. In my opinion. Sometimes. You know, and I remember the first time we had him up here, man. It was a, a really uh, great conversation we had, and um, he has since to go on, and 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 every time I see him, he's on tour, he's on the road. I don't know if it's a harder working artist that's out there. Right. Um, and he's a person who doesn't hold back his tongue. Ain't nothing wrong with At that. All. At all. At all. I'm one way. Been through a lot in his life. Faced a lot of adversity. A lot of us know his story. Right. Um, and he's here with us today. He has new music to celebrate. The one and only Kevin Gates. Hello, Kevin. Kevin Gates. What up, baby? Kev. Who that is talking to me? That's me. Oh, that's Tracy yeah, over that's, there. Oh. Tracy hey again, G. love. What up, my baby? How Where are you, thou? I'm cooler. Good. Remember, y'all had a moment last time you, you was we, here. We did. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? I, I never forget. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Have the bees right next to you, too, man. That's yeah, that's true. my baby. That's, she know what's happening see, We already me. know. Yeah, we already discussed this, our business. What's understood don't need to be explained. There you go. <laughs> got the, let got, know, KG. Got the man from the Live Familiar video in here. What up, man? How you doing, sir? Come on in, man. If y'all gonna come in, come on in, man. Y'all coming? Oh, uh, you cool? Okay, all right. Uh, Kevin Gates, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Kevin. man, I, I just watched a lot of familiar video, and um, and that's off the new project, right? Yeah. It's yeah. pronounced Isla. Isla. What does Isla mean? It means to make better, to improve, to improve, just to make better. And I named it after my first daughter. Because oh. this album is my first baby. Okay. So I named it after my first baby. And she did all of those things to me. Uh-huh. She made me better. Uh huh. Okay. She made me a better person. She made you. How old is your daughter now? She's two. Oh, she's two years oh, old. Nice. Okay. How has she changed you? Like, what, what, what she, how does she make you better? You think twice before doing certain things? No, I don't think twice before doing things. Uh-huh. But I'll say this. I never looked at myself, big brother, no disrespect, but Absolutely. I never looked at myself like somebody special. Mm-hmm. You know, I've always dealt with low self-esteem issues and things of that nature. I never looked at myself like I was somebody that was important. You know, to be honest, anybody that ever really went to school with me, they know one thing. His grandfather's car used to break down at the school. That was the most embarrassing moment ever uh, in mm. life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I come from I don't want to say nothing, you know. They put food on the table, but we didn't have the other things. You know, the other things, you know, I had to go get those things. Uh-huh. And when you in that, when you in that lifestyle, you know, for lack of a better term, when you in that lifestyle, you allow the the money and the material things to attract the individuals that you know. Uh-huh. Because if you didn't have anything going on, pretty girls not going to like you. Mm. So I I never thought that I was no handsome, gorgeous person. My daughter told me, she looked at me, she said, you so beautiful, daddy. And was sincere when she said it. Uh-huh. I missed her first steps. I was incarcerated. But her younger brother, I got to see his first steps. Mm. <laughs> I went to the bathroom and cried. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. I felt good when no you dis- cried, huh? Crying yeah. feel good. They say yeah. it's a cleansing. Yeah. They, hey. say, they say it cleanses you. Yeah. Yeah. My one of my people, he was like, You clean now. You gotta stay that way though. Yeah. 
So rapping, like when 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 you start, because you got a lot of, you know, you got a lot of followers. You got a big audience. None of that made you feel special until your daughter was born. None of those things let you know that I'm. To, I'm, be, to be honest, big brother, I look at it like this. These people don't really know me. They know my stories. Mm -hmm. When a woman tells me, Kevin, I love you, you know, you got to think. I don't have a disdainment for anybody in, in particular. I have a disdainment for being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So that's why some, I guess, rappers, when they, you, <clears throat> you know, I don't trust no one, <laughs> you've been hurt. Right. You've yeah. been scarred. You've been scarred. I've been scarred. I've gave an individual my all. Mm -hmm. And then forgave her, brought her back. You know what she told me? What she say? You too good to me. How I'm too good? How you be too good to somebody? That'd be mm. bullshit. But her own guilt was eating her alive. Mm. Mm. Anyway, exactly. that's another. We won't talk about that. But I'm commitment shy, and I'm not trying to get off subject. So whenever I'm in a relationship, I would do things to sabotage the relationship mm -hmm. to make it not work mm -hmm. for fear of being hurt again. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's... So so when I put these things on front street and things of that nature. It's relatable to individuals. Mm -hmm. You love me, but you don't love me like my daughter loved me. Yeah, it's a different kind of love. You, you know, I got a daughter, Kev, who's seventeen now, and when she was born, I went through a transition where I know you got a lot of pistols. Oh my gosh, man! And my aim—that's <laughs> true, Swain. My aim, <laughs> my aim is impeccable, but um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna equip my. I'm not gonna load my pistols. I, I've been loading her mind. Dang. You know what I mean. So that her mind is her pistol, and if if I have to load a real pistol, I'm gonna call you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he ready. Uh, but no, nah, they do. They do make you better, and they also her birth. I, I dealt with women differently after that because of her birth. I had a, a different understanding of women because of my daughter, especially as she come came to age. You know, it, it definitely made me different. Can I interject? Absolutely. I have an older sister. Mm -hmm. And please forgive me, but I got to be honest. She a little wild. Okay. What I mean is she wasn't shown the proper way because our father, um, I, a lot of people don't know this. I spoke about it in music, but yeah. my father died of AIDS. Mm -hmm. And he'll tell you I had more holes than clothes. He would tell you that. Yeah. You know. But he died of AIDS, February 25th. My sister never really had, I guess, positive male reinforcement in her life. Mm -hmm. So she was kind of loose, so to say. But we had a conversation and she told me she was always looking for our daddy. She was always, you know, every time mm -hmm. she would be with somebody, she was looking for our daddy. I don't I watched a lot of things that my older sister went through. Yeah. And the reason I take my daughter and show her the game, so to say, mm -hmm. because if you conduct yourself like a whore, you will get whorish results. Mm -hmm. If you conduct yourself like a queen and you get disrespected, then it's permissible mm -hmm. for me to get out of character. Mm -hmm. So with that said, one of the big stories, I know you've had to talk about it, is... Man, ask me some questions. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Kev. But, and it's interesting you say these things because a lot of the uh, controversy that's been surrounding your life has been with women. Mm -hmm. uh, Man, ask me some questions, okay. me, brother. You, and this is what I love about you. Mm -hmm. Ask the questions that matter. We're not talking about no... Yeah, the album December 11. Go get it if you want. Okay. <laughs> if you want it, go get it. But yeah, this is why people love Kevin Gates because yeah. I don't apologize for being yeah. Kevin Gates. But please ask me some questions. Okay. <laughs> How th there was reported you got into a fight with some girls coming out of a club? Mm -hmm. Um, You talking about what situation? What, what's this was in March. March. With like two other women. I'm going to be honest with you. To be on, to be all the way honest, if you look at that video, yeah, I dove in the crowd. Okay, I never struck anybody. I dove in the crowd, and mm -hmm. then if I did, man, I'm somebody with a bag. Why not suing? Mm -hmm. It was no repercussions behind it. I yeah. know from the angle, it looked like that, but I dive in the crowd a lot. I might grab a big girl, and kiss her in the mouth, come up, yeah, you know. <laughs> and you got people, you know, no disrespect, but you got people that never seen it. Yeah. When I and when I did the show in New York, that uh, they say Kevin, 
I just saw uh, Kendrick Lamar perform in the same spot. Yeah. I dove in the crowd by myself. Because I love my fans. I dove. I'm passionate. Yeah. You know. But you said which situation? What uh, What other situations were that I'm you got I'm thinking you talking about the new situation. Oh, well, you got, well oh, I saw August. the video. Okay, in August when you you kicked at the girl. You kicked the girl in the chest. Man, ask after me. She, okay, the girl. I saw the video clip. Yeah. She grabbed at your shorts. Right. You kicked her in the chest. All right. And then that's where the clip ended. All right, that's but there's cool. more to the there's more to the story. No, I'm saying that's yeah. cool. That's the the part of the video you saw. Yeah. You hear me? And I'll say this. All right, this person right here, you you I'm undergoing uh, legalities behind it. Okay. So I can't really say a lot, but I'll say this. Yeah. I'm a man. My two year old daughter was present at the mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a man, and I respect myself. You don't have to have no respect for yourself, but you gonna have to have respect for me because I'm a man with a woman and a family. Mm -hmm. I never came in the game and said, um, I never came in the game and said that I wasn't human. Mm -hmm. And then you say, one thing we like about Kevin is because he give us the real. But that's your fan. Like even if they, you know, when Big you're in the brother, public eye, you, no, you I understand. No disrespect, and I'm not trying to be controversial about it. Yeah, you know, at all, Big Brother. But I'll say this: you said you wanted the real. Yeah, and I'm telling you the real. I will. I just can't tolerate being disrespected by any individual. Mm -hmm. Any individual. I'm talking about when you say you don't have no picks, you can't have no picks. No, no picks. Mm -hmm. The but, reaction. But though, if you want to hear the truth the, about the matter, yeah. I have a song called "The Truth." Well, let's go over the lyrics. I have that song right here. Uh -huh. And we. Whoa. I don't get it. What exactly don't you get? Breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the lyrical breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the morning. Hey man, cause I this man, you, you I, my brothers. I love when he be he be equipped. That's what oh. I love. Man, talking to him like talking to like Socrates. You hear me? Oh. He acts why he he acts why he asks the question why, and I'm right. like, I mean that. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I listen. That's to what the, I love about the truth because. It, the truth is an ill song because I, I sat and listened to it over and over. And I said, I got to bring these lyrics up. I don't know if I got them correct. You can, can I ask you a question? Yes. Did the song give conviction? The, it's, not only did it give conviction, um, conviction, compassion, pain, uh, conflict, um, answers. It gave a lot in the song, which is interesting because you are – you know, in a pending case, but you kind of tell a story, and I want to uh, yeah. The song gonna speak for itself, but I'll say this: Wait till you see my footage. My you God. got more footage. Okay, can I ask you about these you lyrics? No, I got to be prepared. Okay, but I can't speak about that because, uh, like I okay, said, I'm well, let me, going okay, legality, let me read, but let me read. Some wait of the till lyrics. you see my footage. Okay, I'm just gonna read the lyrics <laughs> from a different wow. angle. Okay, let me read some of the lyrics about in the beginning of the song, verse one about. I'm assuming what took place at that club. Man in the mirror, you way out, out of order. order. Go to jail, who gonna look, look out for your daughter? daughter. All, all on the news about what happened Been in Florida. Posted on World Star. iPhone recorded. Okay, let's stop right there. It's almost like you talking to yourself in the beginning of this verse. When you're a man, when you're a man, you have to be bone cold honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, Kevin, you know, I get in the mirror. Kevin, you bitch. You gonna let somebody trick you out your position? Mm. Everything you worked hard for, you not in the penitentiary no more. So it ain't anybody disrespect, they get it. Cause you not living like that. You not in them survival skills no more. Mm -hmm. So you don't, they don't even have to be put in effect. Yeah. yeah. So it sound like you was disappointed in yourself. Oh uh, man, I'm, you know, because I'm Kevin, but at the same time, I watched the evolution of Kevin. I'm a fan of Kevin also. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of Kevin. So when Kevin, you know, when Kevin not cooperating or when he doing something that's going to kind of mess up him putting food in his children's mouth and providing for his family, Kevin, it don't matter. Don't nobody care about your side of the story. Yeah. When you're a God, you're supposed to see the fear from every angle. Mm -hmm. You got out your character. 
but don't worry about it. Just keep going hard. Mm-hmm. Because those who love you, they're going to love you for you because they know who you are as a person. Because you're so transparent. They know who you are. Mm-hmm. So, Let me read some more. She grabbed my dick, overreacted. I'm sorry. Two or three times. I had I, already warned them. Edit that part up. I don't like to argue. My children go with me. The every performance. And then and you kind of. Wrong. You start. You should, you, now it's like you're speaking to women. Wrong. You should have respect for yourself. You're yeah. a queen and you wasn't respecting yourself. Mm-hmm. Ever been disrespected, you know how it felt. You don't have to like me go love someone else. Because mm-hmm. I know if. If. No disrespect to, I just, I use Nicki Minaj right quick. If yeah. I went on stage, if she was on stage and I stick my finger in her pussy, mm-hmm. and she kicked me and knocked one of my gold teeth out. You feel like she well within her rights. She would be well within her rights. Mm-hmm. No disrespect, and I'm not, you know, no but disrespect then it's the issue, But it's the issue of men and women. Right. Uh, physical violence on a woman by a man. Right. And that's that comes off misogynistic. Like Yeah, this. but you know, it, when you read the first part of the scripture, we had already had addressed that okay. in the in the in the first part About of the scripture. She grabbed your, mm. Okay. Yeah, man. Right. It's but, hard not to but, but it's hard because I'm a you gotta think, bro. I'm a sexually aggressive person in the yeah. bedroom. I slap ass, I pull hair. Mm-hmm. You know, you a queen in the streets. I'm going to hold your hand in public. But when we get in the bedroom, you know, I'm spit all on you. I'm going to kiss you everywhere. You know, I'm sexually <laughs> aggressive. And I'm like this in my music because. It's spit. <laughs> and that hold on. The loogies? H- hold on. <laughs> hold on. What's up? You don't speak right now. <laughs> <laughs> but look, no, big boy. Tracy, what you, you got to think. About? Hold on. No disrespect. But look, I, I ain't going to say I'm no religious person. Yeah. But. This lady didn't make herself. Mm. Mm-hmm. So when she in it, this, you know, I like to savor the moment. I'm going to kiss everything. You got to think. I done went years without touching a woman. Mm-hmm. So it's a mo- I'm going to enjoy, enjoy this experience. I'm going to savor the moment. Mm-hmm. So you got to think. They got women that hear this. Like, he really eat food. He really, you know, he, he really nasty. And he don't mind being like that. You know, he just was on what you call it, sucking his girl toes. And, you know, and they got women that just, you know, they can't control. And then I'm working with something. Like Atlantic had to throw away a lot of my my pictures because I like to sag my pants. And you could see my print, that monster. You could see that monster. Oh, that so they had to get in. And, and I, I'm, to be honest, you know, I'm, God bless me. I'm blessed. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's hard not that when you see that just. Try to, you hear me? Okay, we going somewhere else right there. <laughs> <laughs> now he bringing it back. <laughs> bringing I'm it bringing back. it back. But, but, but the, point, the question is about. I'm bringing but, it back, big brother. But okay. I had addressed that part in the first part of the scripture. But, the, but even if you get upset at a woman, it's other ways to deal with it than kicking them. Right. You it, know, and it's just that law of nature. Big normally. brother, I could see if I premeditated the murder. Yeah. It was a crime of passion. Mm. It okay. just, just. Like, like right now, if you spit in my face, I don't know what'll happen. Cause I'd be like, man, this is my brother. I love him, but we gonna figure it out in the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, 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 you gotta think where I come from. I don't have any security. You know, I move around everywhere by myself. That's true. So you gotta think. I come up in the game to where I'm all I have. You know, when you just, it ain't, the it ain't, you don't see the person. It's just, I just, I just can't exactly. tolerate the disrespect. But, but so what I'm, then now I'm going to bring back to your daughter. Because we talked about how our daughters have changed us as men. Right. And I tip, I don't do things to women now that I don't want to have done to my daughter. Mm-hmm. And if someone had done something. Didn't you say you loaded her brain? Yeah. So that means your daughter never conduct herself in that manner. Uh-huh. to ever have those type of things take place. Uh-huh. Because I train up the child in the way that she should go so that when she is old, she will not depart from it. Uh-huh. The, the rod is not physical as beating a child. The rod is the rod of correction. I'm going to talk to this child. She see her dad every day. I conduct myself in a certain way. And she understand that this is how you conduct yourself. Because if not, yeah, man, you put yourself in a situation that you might not want to be in. That's why I'm super big on respect. Mm. All right, let me get to this next verse. Yeah. Father, forgive me. I fucked up a blessing. A blessing. Whenever I fall, you don't only only want to kiss me. Let's change the subject. I gave a confession. You put me back in it. 
I bet I go extra. Wrong. You should have respect for yourself. I just had to reiterate it. You reiterated it. that. You Sometimes you know how your grandmother or the older person talk to you. They might say it twice to make sure you got it. Yeah. Yeah, to make sure you got it. Side note. Tracy and I were talking about your grandmother. And then there was the picture of the Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I know that you explained why you posted it and covered her her face with your hand. She didn't have her teeth in, big brother. Yeah. And they had to break her jaw to put her in a body bag. And I just ain't want the world to see her. And I ain't trying to get emotional, but that is my mother. Mm-hmm. I ain't, I'm sorry, big brother. I ain't yeah. trying to go left on no, you. Take your time, I, man. No, that's it ain't you. that. I ain't trying to go left on mm-hmm. you, but that's all I had. Mm-hmm. And when I get to where I'm from, the last day of the tour, y'all tell me she died. I ain't even get the seal. Mm. She called me and asked for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I told her, hold on, I'm coming. And I, I don't know if it's a Southern thing, but my grandmother raised me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, abuela, my abuelita, that's who raised me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the lady who loved me, taught me how to write in cursive. This is the lady that taught me how to read, you know, the newspaper. This is the lady that took time with me when the world did not want me. Mm-hmm. When I was too much of a responsibility for my own mother at times. Mm-hmm. So I just ain't want to show her. I didn't want her to, I wanted her to be in peace when they seen her. So that's mm-hmm. why I covered her mouth. And the world said I was showing off a watch. I could care less about this watch. hmm what made you post a picture of your grandmother right. deceased? Cause that's just how I wanted to remember her in peace, sleeping, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just peaceful. But you wanted the world to see it, cause you put yeah, it on Instagram. Yeah, man, that's why I put it on Instagram because my life open book. This is mm-hmm. what I'm dealing with. I'm on tour, you know, the facade that I'm getting money, having fun, I'm balling out of control. But look at this. Would you trade this for that any day? Mm. And a rapper can gladly have my position. Take it here. Be a rapper. Go be famous. Mm. You know. You know. I love this lady with everything in me. Y'all here? Take the rap game, cause it's fake anyway. Mm. Ain't it? It's fake anyway. You you know it now, huh? All right. Rule number one. No, no disrespect, though, big yeah. brother. But no disrespect. But I'm gonna be honest. I've done interviews with people. Mm-hmm. And I just said I'm against snitching. I don't believe in that. I believe that a man should take responsibility for their action. Yeah. I believe that whatever happened with me, I'm going to take my responsibility for it, and we're going to get it done, whatever I got to go through. Come on. Because mm-hmm. this ain't going to be the first struggle or the last one that I go through. My life has been constant struggle. That's all it's been. Mm. And I prevail because I'm persistent, and I don't stop, and I don't get tired of going hard for what I believe in. But you had an individual say, title the interview, Kevin Gates takes shots at such and such. Now, what if this person, this person got enough money to book me for a show and get my brains blew out? Yeah. Knock the meat out my burrito. What if this person would have gotten their feelings and wouldn't have exercised restraint? Look at the predicament that the interviewer put me in. Mm-hmm. But when I said, you know, when I leave the house, man, it's only to do two things get money to provide for my family or die. Hmm. Cause that's the only two things I, I'm trying to do when I leave. Uh-huh. I don't go to clubs. I don't go to parties. I don't do any of those things. Because when my children run around at the house and they big fine ass mama run around the house, you know, and I'm slapping her and on the booty and playing fighting <laughs> with my son. And you know, <laughs> that is my party. Uh-huh. That's your fun. That's mm-hmm. my fun. Yeah. These are the moments I miss. I'm reliving this with my family. That's all I ever wanted, big brother, was a family. I didn't ever care about, you know, coming in the game, having a million chains. When I was young and I was getting picked up from school by my grandparents, when they was like, we had Christmas with our mom and daddy, mom, that's what I wanted. Yeah. I ain't meet my real father till I was in the ninth grade. I got a man that's not even old enough to be my dad. I call him daddy just because that's how much I wanted a father figure. I don't mm. mind being transparent. Yeah, I put all of me on the table, my flaws. I can't apologize for being Kevin Gates because you, you, and you, you, and you, y'all know, you never had a friend like me. Uh. You never had a friend like me. Uh-huh. When you were like, man, bro, you let me get in the truck and do this. Thing. I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, that's the... Well, <laughs> but you, you, you act like yeah, yeah. it caught you off guard. 
that I showed you that kind of love. But no, I'm supposed to do that if we family. We were in Atlanta. Uh -huh. uh, I need to charge my phone. I might get in the front seat. Man, the seat recline if you, yeah. Yeah. And I couldn't get nowhere to charge my phone to make a call. So it was, you know, and Kev was parked right on the side of the stage. And while he got dressed in the back seat, he had to get into his yeah, wardrobe. Yeah, got dressed in the I'm back in the front seat, seat charging SUV. my phone. And me, me, it's just me and him. Mm -hmm. um, y'all close y'all eyes. eyes. It's about to get real in here. You know, I'm undressing and getting in the back. So nah, he had it wasn't to look, like that, Kev. He had on, to look that way, you heard me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he looked this way. I'm about to switch. You know, uh -huh. I had just came from another show. Right. And I was sweating, so I hurried up and changed. Went and rocked this show, then went, you know, I did like three shows that day. Mm. Went, then I went and took me a shower, you heard me? But he was like, man, bro, I just can't believe I'm supposed to do that for you if we family. If I'm there and you got a problem, I'm supposed to be there for you. That's what's up. If not, then I'm not your family. It was a facade. I was using you to be on Sirius FM, XM. <laughs> we not mm -hmm. really, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That means when you see me from now on, after I show you I'm not family, you don't supposed to speak to me. Because mm -hmm. I don't mind you knowing I don't like you if I don't like you. I mm -hmm. want you to know. What up, Kevin? Like you, Heather, you nine on that one, huh? <laughs> because y'all y'all say it's the low road. That's just my philosophy. The truth is uncomfortable sometimes. It, it is. Makes people yeah. uncomfortable. This is what I want to do. I want to play the truth, and then also we're going to world premiere God. a new single. <laughs> you going to play the truth on I'm this I'm about stage. to play the truth right now. Kevin Gates, 888-742-3345. music about the struggle. <laughs> Just make me invincible. You made me invincible. Kevin Gates, the truth. Hey, bro. Man. Man, I appreciate you, big brother. Oh, man. You I the appreciate first you. person I spoke on this situation. Man, really, man, I don't care, but you the first person I spoke with about the, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I just, I love that you asked the right questions. Mm -hmm. I'd have watched other artists come. No disrespect to them, but I guess they must have felt like you was trying to put them in a bind or trying to box them in. But no, you know, this is when you show that you know how to conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. And I like that you ask the questions that matter, bro. I, 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 it's like talking, you a, you like mm -hmm. a philosopher, bro. You ask why. You challenge, and I love that about you. Don't never change. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people probably misunderstand you, but I get it. Well, I, I'm of the same mind as you when I know that this industry is full of facades and fakeness and I don't come from a fake place. You don't see me at a whole lot of stuff. You don't see me hanging in them in my so-called peer group circles. Right. <laughs> man, bro. I can't hang with them dudes, man. They they I'm, in it for different reasons, but. I'm just glad you, you man, bro, you asked the right questions, bro. You I, hear me? I'm, I just, you know, I just feel relieved that I got the yeah. help. I yeah. got to run it. I got to run. I got to help with you about it. So, yeah. you know, it's beautiful. Let's get it. Um, now, Tracy and Heather, I know Tracy got some questions for you, too. Yeah. I had put her on restriction okay. because of <laughs> our last encounter, but I'm going to take her off restriction. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to untie your hands from behind so your generous. back. So generous. Thank yeah, you, you could, boo. You could, I'm going to untie your mouth and stuff. I now, you take go the ahead. gag out. Appreciate that, my love. <laughs> But, you know, Kevin, what's really dope is you're doing a good job of um, detangling all of these controversies. So one that I'm hoping you can make sense of because it was the craziest thing that I had heard was in February a story coming out. Well, actually, straight from your Instagram of kicking a girl out because she refused to give fellatio to your That's dog. a lie. Okay. That's a lie. Hmm. You ever seen, a, no disrespect, but I'm a dog breeder. Have you ever seen a dog's penis? It's a little red, ugly little thing. Yeah. I'm not sexually turned on by watching no no woman suck no dog penis. A little red, ugly, wiggly thing. When I'm working with a monster. Right. Monster. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, for real, it wasn't like that. It was just that I was being figuratively when I said it. Okay. Call him what you want, but he loyal. I don't have to have no money. He going to love me. I don't have to feed him. He, gonna, he loyal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was saying. Yeah, I was speaking figuratively when I said that. What okay. did you say? Because cause she didn't want to be in the bed with the dog. Oh, the, and I was like, you, 
Because the dog sleep in the bed with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to sleep in the bed with you, get in the bed with you with the dog. I say, get in the bed with the dog. I say, you need to be trying to, yeah, bless him. That's what I said. <laughs> and she was like, I ain't about to. And I was like, you call him what you want, but he lawyer. And she never left. She was mm -hmm. there when I did it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's my homegirl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she couldn't understand why I had such a strong relationship with the dog. But did she, did I, I she... wouldn't get sexually turned on. By okay. nobody involving themselves sexually with an animal. Ain't that nasty? So she didn't bless you the dog. You ever seen though. how the how you, you ever seen how it looked? <laughs> it's like a pink Twinkie. It's I know the ugliest thing on earth. Right. Like she, a little chewed up hot dog wing. Oh gosh. Yes. What I'm gonna get off seeing you put that in your mouth and you supposed to be kissing on me? Nah. So she didn't bless the dog. No. No, she I ain't blessed him. <laughs> and I wouldn't have let her if she tried. You know what else I wonder as well? Because you're so transparent and all of social media and your music. What do what does Kevin Gates Consider to be sacred. Now you in my business. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? Possibly. <laughs> I'm a sought after individual, you know, by celebrities and you know, you know, different women and any woman that I ever had dealings with, I could go back and have dealings with them to this day. Mm. And every woman I ever met, they was like, Kevin, I never met no man like you. You know, I'm like, what you mean? Ain't no man never you just really take their time and, you know, like, just teach them certain things. You know, ain't no man never give me no fruit bath. Or, ain't no man never, you know, things like that. But it's not that I'm doing this to win you over. It's just how I rock. Right. But can I ask you, have you ever heard any stories surface about any flings that I've been involved with? No. You I... know what that means? Mm. That means I don't sit around in studios with other rappers and gossip and be like, oh, I hit her. I touched her. I touched her. Right. You know, baby, whatever we do is between us and whoever else you tell. I think the closest thing, though, is there is a story that um, two women you're involved with had babies two weeks apart. I put that in my music. Yeah. And right. I talked about, I spoke about that matter with Sway. Yeah. Right. Um, the, fir the very first time I came up here. Mm hmm yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but I guess would that be considered, that's not something that, you know, the two women would no, really be into. it was, how many men would be honest about the situation? Right. I'm talking about, would you be honest enough to tell the woman that you love, that you say you love? You know, look, let's go get tested. Why? Because I was having her protected sex over here, and she's saying she pregnant. Man, Kevin, you piss me the F off, but I love you because you always tell me the truth. I don't never have to find nothing out in the street from you. Mm. You know, you know. My dad ain't even like that. My daddy wasn't like that with my mama, Kevin, but you like that with me. Right. Any woman I ever had dealings with, I can go back and have dealings with them again. Not because, and I and you can keep the house, the cars, you can keep whatever I bought you. People call it tricking, but I feel like no, you supposed to want the person you with to have the best. Mm -hmm. And I aim to please my partner, whatever partner I'm with at the time. So okay, I'm I watched, you know, with my mom. Well, give me this back and give me that back. Once well, she don't want to have no dealings with you no more, no, you can keep that. Because those are tangible things. I was the blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to miss me. Because hmm. you know I was always honest with you. Whatever your religion was, I accepted it. Because I believe in positive energy. It's good if it works for you, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, as far as my spiritual beliefs, I don't really speak about that. But, you know, I feel like it should be exhibited in my character. Okay. You know who I am. Why, why don't you speak about your spiritual beliefs? Because... Big brother, when you 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 kind of put yourself in a box, and I got so many different friends, there's so many different other things, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be offensive to anyone because they're all great people. Mm -hmm. No matter their spiritual beliefs, they're great people. And I thought that we wasn't supposed to judge. So if I'm with this group and we saying that those people are wrong because they don't believe what we believe, and this group saying those people are wrong because mm -hmm. we're judging, so I just want to take myself out of that box. Mm -hmm. And I want to love people for themselves. If I like you, I like you. If I don't like you, I don't mind you knowing that I don't like you. Because I mm -hmm. don't have to like you, mm -hmm. whoever you are. Mm. And then you can say whatever you want to about Kevin because that's your opinion. You know, like I hear people, I heard a rapper one day he got upset because he said somebody said that he was pussy. You could say that whatever you, that's your opinion. You could say, man, Kevin Gates, he fake, he pussy. You told me, but you got to show me. Mm -hmm. You never showed me yet. 
Right. So I ain't tripping about your opinion because that's not fact. What's fact is, you know, Kevin Gates makes great music. Kevin Gates is no longer a great song. Kevin Gates is a great feeling, whatever that feeling was. Mm -hmm. If I provoked you to anger, if I provoked you to, you know, being in love, if I provoked you to feeling betrayed, if I would, or invoked whatever emotion I invoked, evoked, whatever word you want to say. Right. But Kevin Gates became a feeling. Mm. Would you consider anything that you shared to be a publicity stunt? No. Like the situation you're talking about with my cousin? Mm -hmm. No, because that really happened with me. And we're still good friends. I love that woman. Mm. I didn't know she was my cousin. I didn't. I didn't say okay. We first cu just gonna just you know we not even first cousins. But my grandmother told me that this your cousin. We had already crossed the line, and I enjoyed being on that side of the playing field anyway. So why not stay there? The damage has already been done. Yeah. Mm. It don't matter who don't like it. It don't matter who don't like it. Yeah. Because I could say something, but I ain't trying to get religious or nothing. But you know, no disrespect. You know, this, I, I, I'm a big skeptic, so I read a lot from a lot of different religions. Uh, Lot's children, you hear me? Them was both his daughters that he had, you know, babies with, no disrespect. Mm -hmm. And y'all tripping with me about somebody I didn't know was my cousin. Mm -hmm. And I was honest about it. That's why I couldn't nobody throw no shots and take no shots at me because I was honest about it. I honestly didn't know. Now, if I grew up taking baths with you, then that's gross. Mm -hmm. You my sister, that's gross. Right. You know, like Tracy, you know, me and you wouldn't be gross because I don't know you. Mm -hmm. I don't mean it. I got I don't you, take boo. that disrespectfully, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you know how I'm coming. You just I paint, do. He's just painting a picture right. for you, Tracy. I'm giving you an illustration. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, and then people say, I can say one thing. I got to say this. You know how I approach women? How? Good evening, how you doing? You're the most beautiful woman in the world to me. No disrespect intended when I, what I'm about to say to you. You really look like you need to be fucked and I don't kiss and tell. I never struck out. Oh, that's game right there. I never struck out. That's a formula, people. I never struck out, bitch. I never struck oh, out. Oh, that's, that's game right there. Hold on, check it out. Check it out. Once I start with the, we need to have dinner, uh -huh. I start getting turned down. You know why? Why? Because I wasn't being true to myself. I feel like whatever you feel, I'm going to just say it. And when you tell me no, I can live comfortable knowing I tried. I'm writing that down. Mm -hmm. yeah, I tried. I'm writing that down. Ms. Um, mama, please don't be mad at me. You know, your son in here going crazy. Don't be mad. Don't, don't, his mic to don't be mad, mom. I'm, I'm not trying to disgrace the family, you heard me? I don't want you to think I'm out here just... I ain't, I'm not wilding, but when you see a beautiful woman, I mean, mm -hmm. you're supposed to want to enjoy, enjoy this woman in every aspect possible. All right, I want to get to this world no premiere. Yeah. I want to get to this world premiere. If man. they want to, if they like the song, they could like it. But you the no, only I, one I, got this song. I'm the only one on the planet that got this song. That's what I want to do. I ain't, I ain't heard sorry, the song yet. I haven't listened to the song yet. This is my first time hearing it. It's called Really, Really. I really, really. And, and it, what's that about? Can you give me a little insight? Big brother, this gonna sound funny. The label gonna hate me for saying this. Cause like you know, we in a partnership with Atlantic, so. Ooh. They love me because they like, man, Kevin, just do whatever the F he want to do. Yeah. So they love me. I did two versions to the song. Mm -hmm. And when it was time to shoot the video, I shot the video to my version of the song <laughs> instead of their version. Uh -huh. So they might have gave you their. I, I recorded two versions. Yes. <laughs> so you don't know which version this is? I don't know, but nine times out of ten, you got the special one. Wow. S S Sam. You, Sam. Sam Crespo. Yeah. That's your mic. Yeah. yeah you know which version this is? I have no clue. Okay. But we're all going to have a treat. This is really, really. <laughs> You're the only one that got it. <laughs> Kevin Gates, Sway in the Morning, Shade <laughs> 4 5, World Premiere. Sway in the Morning. Diamond, exclusive on really Shade 45. I'm really on my mind. I say really, really. Really, really. Yeah. really. World Premiere. This. Kevin Gates, man, I got to ask you, Kevin Gates, wait, so turn the music down, hold up, what's the line you said about Janae Aiko? Huh? 
But you said something about Janae Aiko in there. Huh? What was that? How that how that lyric go? <laughs> I said, I believe, I believe Kevin Gates said, I don't ever know what he gonna say. Yeah, here. Kevin Gates said. He he said, I believe. He said, Janae Aiko chewing her cheeks. Groceries, please. You know that was me. Oh. Serious face. Well, she's was she eat the what was her lyric? She's she yeah. was saying, uh, gotta might eat let the you, booty like groceries. might let your boy show for me, but he gotta eat the booty like groceries. And I was just saying, Janae I eat go chewing her cheeks. Groceries, please. You know that was me. Are you saying it you, wasn't a diss? It wasn't a diss. <laughs> yeah, it was just like a fact. Yeah. What you mean? Fantasy. Hold on. In what manner when you say fact though? Huh? I just was saying that like. In did, song. Did, did, no. did it sound like you saying you it was you who ate her booty like groceries? No, I never said those things. I, I said I was the, I was more saying <laughs> that I was the inspiration behind it. That's all okay. I was saying. I wasn't saying that I did those things. Yeah. And then I'm gonna be honest though, if I did, yeah, I wouldn't share that because you don't catch okay. and tell. Right. I wouldn't share that. That wouldn't yeah. be fair to her as an individual if I was. If if that ever was to take right. place anyway, yeah, 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 but you know that wouldn't be fair to her. You've just been open about ass eating before, so she got inspired off of that. That's what you said. I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cause yeah, yeah, okay. So and that's good, cause artists often inspire other artists. Right. right. Yeah. The same. Have y'all ever y'all never worked? Have y'all ever worked together? No, we never worked on no music together. No. Fucking Kevin Gates, yo. <laughs> I would <laughs> love to though. You would love to work on. I would love to work with Janelle. That's a beautiful, Eagle. talented young lady. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If I was to work with her, I want to be with her for like about three days. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to just be in a studio and her significant other here. And my seat. no, that no. Let's mm -hmm. just hang out and make music. Mm -hmm. Let's just take like two, three days and just you know we we go. You don't need no bodyguard when you're around me. Yeah. I'm the body go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you can save that money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then you know I pick you up. And we have, and then I, I get inspired a lot in the car, like two, three in the morning when mm -hmm. I'm under that panoramic roof. You know, just riding around the city. I like to do regular shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We might just go places and just hang out, and we get inspired by living life, and we make songs about it. That's how I would want to work with that individual. Yeah. If I was to ever. Y'all, you know her? Do y'all know each other? Mm -mm, you gonna put it together for me? <laughs> Janae Aiko, Kevin Gates would love to work with you in the studio. Yeah, I, think, I fuck with you. I think y'all could probably make some really interesting music. Hey. Cause, uh, Cause she, I like what she does. Uh, I really enjoy what she does. And, I, and I, you know I, I who like else I've been you. listening to lately? Who? Uh, the Weeknd. The ah. Weeknd. Say, oh. bro. I can't and, and, I, and he remind me a lot of myself. Mm -hmm. How so? You know, he talk about the things that I talk about, like being depressed. Mm -hmm. He talks about depression. He talks about the, the experimental drug phase. Of, you know, and people think that you don't start just doing heavy drugs. Mm -hmm. It's a gradual process. You did a little, and you did more because your body developed a tolerance. So it takes more to get that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he talks about love like I talk about love. You know, love the worst drug they got out right now. Mm -hmm. The word love is a misspelled word for unemployed emotion. Mm. You got to show me you love me. You can't tell me. Hmm. You got to show me. I kind of love you, that. You, you, kinda, you caught Tracy with that <laughs> one. Unemployed emotion. Um, let Man, me go I, to, hey. That's a tweetable. Hey, you know, I, hey, Miss Tracy, you know what's happening with me. Miss Jared's Tracy. on the line from Indianapolis. Jared, what up? What up? What up, Troy? What up, Gates? What up? Yeah. Shit, uh, I just wanted to let you know, man, I've been, I've been messing with you heavy here, man, for, for a few years, man. Uh, before your name was even ringing in the streets, man, I was turning you on to all my people, man. And now everybody, everybody hollering gates, man. It's like, uh, what was y'all a few years ago? You know what I mean? But, that, that's, uh, that's because you real family. You see, when you, <laughs> and when you real family, you, you take offense to people that, that like to, you know, ride the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you real family. Hey, all right, fam, right. thanks for your call, man. Uh, we got uh, Johnny Cash from uh, Las Vegas. Johnny Cash, what, what up, up? Johnny? Hey, 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 hey. What's up, fam? How y'all doing this morning? All right, man. Say what up to Kevin Gates. Hey, Gates, what's going on, baby? What up? 
Hey, man, you got me through my whole bed, bed, man. I just got out on May 5th, man. Big you brother. want nothing but motivation for me, baby. Big that brother. means, man. I appreciate oh, you, man. big brother. I swear to God. Here, baby. I appreciate you. All right. Uh, yo, Wanda, do me a favor. Kev is here, man. Last time he came here, you know. You know, he, he entertained my, my you know. I ain't, a, look. What, 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 what? I what? ain't going to lie, okay, big brother. Okay, okay. I'm so, you, uh-huh. I'm so nervous. Yeah. And I don't want to, and just. The questions that you ask me, I'm still just going over them in my mind. Like, did I answer them correctly? Or, mm. no, no disrespect. I don't think I got it in me. I ain't tapping. If you need me to come out there head first, I come out there. You know. But I just, I don't know if I got it in me. Let's see what Heather got to say. Heather, what you say? He did. He did. He, he did. We put a lot of... <laughs> Let Put a lot of, you know, yeah, got he spoke his piece. Man. He spoke his piece. He's good. Miss Heather, talk to him. Miss Heather, what you think, girl? <laughs> He said his piece. You know, you said you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Well, we got to come it back. It ain't that. Oh, no. <laughs> it ain't that, Miss Help. Then tell me, explain to me. I, 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 I swear to God, it ain't that, Miss Help. Uh huh. But I'm like, go listen at the song, The Truth. That's where you at with it. And no disrespect, but mm-hmm. when you listen at it, I, I challenge you to listen at the song. Mm-hmm. Listen at the song. And that's it. You know what? We'll do it when you come back. The truth makes people uncomfortable. Sam I'm uncomfortable. Can, 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 <laughs> the truth makes people uncomfortable. I'm trying to tell you that. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is there something um, that you would like to touch on that we didn't touch on? Mm. Um, I'll say this. I just want to, to the young people that's watching all over the world, this the camera? Yeah. To the young people that's watching all over the world, when you look at Kevin Gates, be inspired by my greatness, but also understand that I'm not Superman, I'm not a god, I'm only a human being. So I do have character flaws, I do make mistakes. But I promise that I'll continue to be as honest as possible with you for the rest of my life or for as long as I'm here. I love you all, I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. Kevin Gates for president. <laughs> 2016. Kanye 2020. Walker. 2020. We're going to have hip hop going to run the country. <laughs> right. Hey, no disrespect, but I've been saying Kevin Gates for president. Yeah. That's been my campaign uh-huh. because whenever a politician is trying to run for president or whatever, that's when you see them. So I wanted to always be in campaign mode. So that's why I was like, Kevin Gates for president everywhere I went. Mm-hmm. Because I'm always in campaign mode. I'm always promoting. I'm always in promo mode. You know, just that's just me. Kevin Gates for president, 2020. It's going to be a big ticket right now. We got nah, Walker. Kanye. Kanye. Kevin Gates. Um, I'll be the president in my heart. You heard me? They can have the title. Whoever wants the title. I don't like titles. Yeah. I just am who I am. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. I think that's why so many people gravitate toward me because I'm a human being. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. None of us are perfect. Uh, Kevin Gates, man, give this man a round of applause. And uh, man, I love this interview. Oh mm-hmm. man, hey man, we love having you here, man. And, man, and, bro. And I and pass I, the collection plate around. Let's pass around. Hey, it's a, it's a lot of. There's a sermon up here today, Heather B. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I enjoyed it, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, we even quoted some biblical scripture today. <laughs> that happens. Mm. <laughs> Isla. Isla. December the 9th. 11th. December the 11th. Look for that album. You could pre-order uh, no one right now, right? You can get it. Look, make sure you let them know. Only if you want to. Yeah. You don't have to. No, I'm saying it. Pre-order yeah. the album today. Yeah. No one, I know it just got added over at Revolt. You got Live Familiar nice. uh, as well. I wasn't in the Live Familiar video. The homie right here was in the Live Familiar video. What happened to you, OG Booby Black. Yeah. Why you didn't the, get in this way? Ah, uh, man, you know why? I kept, he changed his I number. Ch- I, well, I changed my phone, so okay. when, he, when he was, I wasn't getting this hit. He just hit me, mm-hmm. and I, I showed him that I was telling him. He showed me. I, I ain't hold him this time. Yeah, Say, bro, you ain't been picking up when I call you. I'm saying, what, what what's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something you want to tell me or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He like, no, bro, I just, oh, all right. 
Yeah, so were we not him. family no more? That right. what you're saying? Yeah. Careful. Yeah, because I wasn't in the video, so maybe that's what it was. <laughs> Kev caught a feeling with me, but we family, so we deal with it. You right. know, it's good. It's good. Man, but if I can't fuss with you, then I don't fuck with oh, you. Oh, yeah. I like that. If I can't fuss yeah. with you, I don't fuck with you. Mm. Absolutely. If we can have an argument and you could tell me, Kevin, you wrong, then you my family. Mm -hmm. Don't praise me when I'm right. Just tell me when I'm doing something wrong. Word. Well, can I give you some advice on that note? Mm. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> yes, sir. I would never drop the ball again. Okay. I promise. Good. Okay. All right. There Put you go. Put me in, coach. I okay. can do you it. You can do it. I can do it, okay. coach. Okay. All right. I like Don't that. Don't drop the ball again. Uh, Kevin Gates, man, one of the realest in the game right now. Man, I appreciate you. Tracy G, how can you be reached? Citizens, hit me on Twitter, Instagram, at it's Tracy G, I-T-S, Tracy A-C-Y-G. You can also find my ass on Snapchat, it's Tracy G Snaps, and go to She's Beauty and the Beast.com. Have the B. Real simple. Go to the happy hour with Heather B.com for all your recipes at the happy hour with WHB, Instagram, and Twitter. You miss any part of Sway's show, SiriusXM.com backslash on demand. Kevin Gates. You can go to uh I am Kevin Gates. That's Instagram, that's Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, yeah, whatever, if you want to. I am Kevin Gates. Only if you want to. I'm at Real Sway um, at Twitter and Instagram, Sway Calloway on Facebook and Snapchat and Sway's Universe. We're going to post this interview up today, mm. later on this evening. We got to go do the work on it. But I want to get this out to the world ASAP. As you should. And um, it's a lot of questions that were answered. Some things can't go into detail in terms of the incident with the, the lawsuit or the girl got kicked. Uh, but the truth, the whole truth will come out. And um, at that point, Kev, I want to invite you back uh, uh, to the show to go ahead and make up for that verse I you didn't I want to see if we make the headlines for the, when the truth come out. What? That's what I want to see. Well, you already made the headlines. You here. <laughs> 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 hey, that's the headline. <laughs> All right. Nah, it'll come out, man. Uh, let's run uh, um, the truth again. I want to do that. I want to end the show with the truth. Kevin Gates, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow's show, Angel Hayes is coming up here, and Emma Lagasse is coming up here as Damn. well. The chef? Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's you what's excited, up. Eh? You excited? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. And until tomorrow, we <laughs> have nothing. Day 45.